foundational knowledge should people have um, under their belt in order to trade equities and equity options? Um, yeah. And so I think, you know, most new investors may hear, right, their friend, oh, hey, Bob made a killing trading or or Janice is doing so well in the market and I want to get involved. And it's like this race to be part yeah. of it. And I guess, the you know, do you do you need to have a little bit of background? Do you need to educate yourself? Yes, uh, but it's not usually in the areas that people think. And it's interesting. I, I've had a couple of these conversations this past week about folks who thinks, you know, think it's as easy as me having like a switch on the wall with their name on it that as soon as they uh, be part of my program or something like that, that they'll be successful at being an investor. Um, and sadly, that's not the truth, right? I don't have like a pill bottle of special red pills that when somebody buys into our program, I can send them the pills. So a lot of folks think that the most important thing is setting up your brokerage account. And I would say that that's probably, you know, step 10 on a 10 step process. You know, if somebody wanted to prepare to really get an understanding of the market and boy, this is going to sound a little bit, um, you know, uh, people are going to maybe think, what is he talking about? I would actually say, go take one of these free statistics 101 classes. Even if you took one back in high school or college when you were younger, go refresh yourself on statistics 101. Statistics 101, I mean, not only is it good for investing and trading analysis, it's good just for looking at the world, right? Because you start to understand things like confidence and probabilities, and it helps you better make decisions. So as far as being able to analyze a stock or an equity, go, and it used to be that you'd have to sign up at a community college or something like this to take a Statistics 101 class. But now with uh, Udemy or Udemy, I'm not sure how to pronounce that online school or any of the, you just have to Google Statistics 101 classes. Or if you're using your artificial intelligence, just say, help me you know, grasp Statistics 101 as quickly as possible. What should I focus on? And, um, you know, Statistics 101 will give you an idea of how to better make decisions when there's uncertainty. And then when it comes to options, if you want to delve down the path of options, uh, you know, taking kind of an understanding or looking through and uh, understanding what profit and loss diagrams are. Because Sip and I talk about how there's, you know, 27 different ways to trade options and the option strategies they actually have a fingerprint and that fingerprint you can actually use as an overlay and overlay it on the patterns that you have in your charts and your volatility graphs and you can determine whether this option strategy is going to fit for that pattern it's almost like when i think about my little toddler and she has shapes that we put into um, holes that are in the same shapes and you're trying to fit the square peg into the square hole and the round peg into the round hole. Really, that's what we're doing with our profit and loss diagram. So being able to understand and read profit and loss diagrams so you can see how the different strategies work and how even more important than reading them is how you can overlay them onto your patterns to see if they will work in this specific case. So P&L diagrams for options, delving into options, and just a Statistics 101 class is like kind of the best foundation you could have for being an investor. And then you would probably say the brokerage account and then maybe some sort of a support group like the one that you have every Thursday with your members where you oh, yeah. can learn from others, maybe uh, watch some. Leverage with pride is what I say. Leverage with pride. It's like cheating, but it, it's not cheating because you're looking over the shoulder. It's what grownups call cheating. And there's enough then there's enough resources out there. Obviously, we here at Trading Trainer are going to you know, want to try and get you to come on board with us and join our community. 
yeah. because uh, I know that that Thursday group is growing fast, a lot of excitement, and a few of the the names that we cover on this show come directly from those discussions and those opportunities that present themselves. Um, yeah, we're a whole bunch of professionals, right? We're a whole bunch of, I would say, if you were to classify us, we are investors that know that we can do much better than if we just give our money to a mutual fund manager, or put it into a CD. But we've got bigger things on our plates, right? We've got bigger passions to have to be stuck in front of a computer creating a job out of trading, right? So we're looking for ways to use these option strategies almost so that we can turbocharge our investment, but also so that we could use our our time in this world in order to pursue our passions, whether it be a career or family or, you know, something that just lights your fire. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into some examples. Let's showcase uh, uh, an opportunity that is the, the one thing that I, I think is important to distinguish is it's not day trading, right? Like, like you're right. not looking at the markets every day. It's, it's coming up with this strategy. Well, well, maybe you are looking at them every day. We're, we take a <laughs> glimpse in the evenings. So the whole thing is that on our schedule. So after the markets closed, we take a glimpse and we look at all the symbols that we've kind of got on our, our, you know, got on our headlights uh, but we only spend like a few seconds looking at each symbol. And then if one of the symbol passes the tests that we have, we'll do a deep dive on it. We try not to spend any more than about 20 or 30 minutes a day just looking at our symbols. And it's usually in the off hours so that we don't have to be, you know, in front of our computer at a set time or set uh, schedule.